Mr. Speaker, forum members, first and foremost, I wish to salute the sponsors of this motion for their vision and hard work in the sponsorship of this motion. Their motion is germane, having regard to the present economic recession that we have found ourselves. Mr. Speaker, as Chairman of Agriculture, uh, Production and Service, and the government preaching the gospel of uh, diversification of the economy away from oil to agriculture as a way of exiting from the present economic recession that we have found ourselves. Mr. Speaker, I have observed that there are some policy gaps that will constitute a cock in the wheel of the much talked about diversification of the Nigerian economy away from oil to agriculture and with the attendant effect of uh, exiting from the present economic recession that we have found ourselves. Mr. Speaker, all members, input suppliers, that is, entrepreneurs that are charged with the responsibility of supplying fertilizer, seeds, and other palm inputs. As I am speaking to you right now, the federal government has not given them their money to the tune of 30 billion naira. To the tune of 30 billion naira, up to now, has not been paid to them. So there is no way, having regard to this pact, they will be able to effectively supply fertilizer, seeds, and other farm inputs for the purpose of the much talked about diversification of the Nigerian economy away from oil to agriculture, 30 billion naira. So there is a need for the government to pay these entrepreneurs the sum of 30 billion naira so that they will be back into business and then supply fertilizer, supply other farm inputs. As I'm speaking to you right now, the price of fertilizer is beyond the reach of uh, the average farmer. It's beyond the reach of the average farmer, including improved seedlings. It's beyond the, uh, the reach of average farmer because the entrepreneurs that are in this business are no longer in the business because government could not be able to settle them to the tune of uh, 30 billion naira. Then the other issue that I want to raise is the CVN intervention program, popularly called the ANCO program. It's only being implemented in three states of Kano, KB, and Cross River states. All other states are not enjoying that facility. So there is need to extend the Anko Borrowers Program of the CBN to all the nooks and crannies of this country so that all farmers will access this facility for the purpose of uh, growing our agriculture. Or government, the federal government, or the Minister of Agriculture in particular, should revert back to the growth enhancement scheme that is being practiced before that covered all the nooks and crannies of this country. This is also one of the ways through which we can talk about achieve the much uh, talk about uh, diversification of the Nigeria economy away from oil. Then, Mr. Speaker, honourable members. So long as farmers do not access loans at single digits interest rate, there is no way the average Nigerian farmer will grow food to the requirement of Nigerians. There is no way we are going to attain food self-sufficiency and achieve food security. So there is a need in that direction to recapitalize the Bank of Agriculture so that they will be able to give interest at single digit uh, as a loan at each single digit uh, interest uh, rate. Then, Mr. Speaker, honorable members, as I'm speaking to you right now, there are over 30 agencies under the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, but it's only the Ministry of Agriculture that is being funded. All the other agencies under the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development are not being funded. So there is a need to fund all the agencies of the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, including the Ministry, 
so that we are going to achieve the much talked about diversification of the Nigerian economy. There is no way the ministry alone that is charged with the responsibility of only policy formulation that will drive the much talked about diversification of the Nigerian economy. There is need to phone all the other agencies of the ministry so that we can achieve that uh, lofty objective. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.